whenever you place an order on Swiggy or Zomato, I'm sure you uh, pay a delivery fee for it. It's only fair, you would think. You receive your food on your doorstep and you pay a minor fee for it. But do you know who is really pocketing that money? Do you know what is going on behind the scene? It seems a whole lot of corruption as it has been alleged. That is what Indian media reports say. And if that is to be believed, my question to you is, is the convenience worth feeding into that? Let me tell you more about it. For all other items in your shopping cart, you pay the GST, that is goods and services tax. Those are the protocols. But for the delivery fee, platforms like Swiggy and Zomato need to do it. Since they are providing a service, they need to pay the GST on delivery charges. But according to a CNBC report, they are not doing their bit. It claims there are serious gaps in the delivery giant's GST payments. According to it, the Directorate General of GST Intelligence has issued a demand notice to both Zomato and Swiggy. It has pulled them up for non-payment of the tax. For how long, you might wonder. Let me tell you, it has been alleged for good seven years. From July 2017 to March 2023, reportedly, it has been alleged that none of the two delivery giants paid the GST on delivery fee. So the question is, how much has it been alleged that they owe the tax department? Now, legally, Swiggy and Zomato are liable to pay GST at a rate of 18%. Reportedly, Zomato has not paid 400 crore rupees. That is $48 million. Also, reportedly, Swiggy has a backlog of 350 crore rupees, as in $42 million. Now, that is no little amount. It's hundreds of crores of rupees. What do the delivery platforms have to say? Reports say they challenge the tax department's notion, but on what grounds? Vion also reached out and is yet to get a response. You see, Swiggy and Zomato hire gig workers. These workers are paid on a daily basis. The delivery giants say that they pay the delivery fee entirely to the delivery partners. At least that is what they claim. And since these workers are providing the service, it is them who needs to pay the goods and services tax. But since each gig worker is below the threshold of 20 lakh rupees, they are exempt from GST. This is the elaborate argument that Swiggy and Zomato reportedly have. Zomato and Swiggy are the service providers. Can merely collecting an item from them make delivery workers a provider? Are the delivery giants simply trying to push the blame to save their cash flow? That's the question that's been raised. Now, the question is also, how long can you go without ordering something from Zomato or Swiggy? And might I add Blinkit as well. Zomato owns it after all. From a banana to a vacuum cleaner, from a bed sheet to designer kurtas, Blinkit promises to deliver most of the daily essentials that you need. Only recently, a man ordered a Maniwar kurta from Blinkit, but don't fall for such posts. He was himself a Blinkit employee, probably promoting his own company. Who knows? First, these platforms would offer you discounts. They would even give you a free delivery or throw in some freebies. And once you are hooked, there is a good chance you would see the prices getting inflated. What you might get for 50 bucks outside, the delivery apps may ask 70 for it. Then there are handling fee, delivery fee. If it's raining outside or there is high demand in your area, then the surge fee. If it's too late at night, then the night owl fee. And if you commit the crime of ordering just one or two items, then there is a small cart fee as well. Just how many times have you bought extra products, things that you don't even need only to avail a free delivery? Think about it. It might be a small amount for you, but these platforms are heavily cashing in on it. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.